How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in a battle versus Chris, also known as Pokemaster88, from the Discord server in the Smogon underused tier. Looking at their team, they've got a Scrafty, a Latios, Galarian Weezing, Empoleon, a Gengar, and a Mamo. Pretty powerful stuff, I will say. Uh, Quackerville could put some work in here though, if we get an Aqua Step and a Moxie going on, we could be doing really well there. And we don't have anything on the Quackerville to hit the Latios, because I opted for Terra Electric, Terra Blast, and um, for Toxapex and stuff, um, over the uh, Ice Spinner. So I, I think we may lead with Ma um, Mandibuzz, so that we can U-turn on whatever they lead off with, because I'm not sure what they're going to do, to be honest with you. It's hard to tell, they could lead with the Latios, they could lead with the Galarian Weezing. They might look at my team and think I'm going to lead with Espeon and lead with the Gengar. You never know. So let's just find out. And the battle begins. Good luck. Have fun, Chris. So they're going to lead off with Weezing. I said Weezing as well, didn't I? I was like, yeah, they could lead off with Weezing. And they do. They do. So they lead off the Weezing. What are they? Looks like they maybe levitate. I'm not seeing the ability then, and we are still communicating. No, all right, no, no ability so far. So they're not showing the neutralizing gas. They're not showing the misty terrain. We know they are definitely levitate. So let's go for a U-turn because we can't really touch this thing. There we go. U-turn comes through. No damage. That's definitely like... Oh, it's Rocky Helmet as well. So it's got, probably physically defensive, which is good to know. Very good to know. So... If we just switch out straight away into our Metagross maybe, or our Skeledurge. I'm leaning towards Skeledurge because they could Will-O-Wisp here on the incoming physical attacker. Plus we can hit on the special side with the Skeledurge, so I think that is the way to go. That is the way we can resist both its stabs. And we're in a good position with Skeledurge against this thing. So they go for a Strange Steam, which does no damage as you would expect. Um, and then looking at their team, we could probably get away with going for a Shadow Ball. It, you know... <laughs> Or a Will-O-Wisp might be better. I think Will-O-Wisp would be better. We don't have Shadow Ball anyway. We have Hex. Hex, not Shadow Ball. So they, they're going to withdraw the Weezing, which is fine. And they're going to go into Empoleon, which is also fine. So Empoleon's a pretty good switch here. We go for the Will-O-Wisp. Unfortunately, we miss. I would have liked to have that chip damage every turn, especially if they're Assault Vest. Um, so if we know... They, well, they can't touch Quackable. So let's go into Quackable real quick. Um, Quackle is the perfect switch. They probably go for a flip turn, but they were going to do that anyway, so I had to switch out. I couldn't stay with my Skeledurge. So they're going to flip turn on whatever I bring in, um, so it's going to work out for them. They go for a Surf, though, which is actually really good for us. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm leaning towards going for a Swords Dance, but I kind of want to go straight for the CC because it'll hurt everything on the team except for the Weezing. If I Swords Dance, no. I, yeah, I think we go for, straight for a Close Combat. Because um, they're going to go Weezing, but chip damage is chip damage at the end of the day. So let's go for it. They do bring Weezing in. That's fine. I suppose I could have made a double there, but I'm trying to like... I just want to go straight I just want to go straight for the attacks at the moment. Just to kind of figure out whether or not... I want them to think that my mindset is to just attack. You know? That's what I'm pretty much going for here. So, if we assume they're going to go for a Strange Steam again, we should go Skeledurge. But they may double... If they double, we should go into something else. So what's my best switch into a strange steam? If they assume we're going to go Skeledurge, they won't go for the Willow. They more than likely switch out and go into either Gengar or Empoleon. I'm banking on the Empoleon, so I'm going to go Metagross here. I'm going to go Metagross because I think they're going to double into the Empoleon. I could be overthinking it. I really could be overthinking it, but Metagross can kind of handle this thing as well, so it's not a big deal. Toxic Spikes. That is absolutely fine. Toxic Spikes are fine. We can deal with that. If we assume they don't have Will-O-Wisp, if they're going to be Toxic Spikes, we should go for a Heavy Slam here. I think it will go for a Heavy Slam. I don't think they've got much to switch into a Heavy Slam, to be honest with you. Heavy Slam comes through. Oh, a clean KO! A clean KO from Metagross. What an absolute legend! Pseudo-legend. <laughs> Definitely a pseudo legend. So Galarian Weezing cleanly goes out there. That's amazing. They really didn't think we would KO them there, did they? In comes the Gengar. So Gengar is a good switch. Would be. I'm gonna Terra Normal. I think Metagross is the is the way here. I think this is the Terra we need. So I'm gonna go for the Terra Normal Heavy Slam. Because they are definitely going for a Shadow Ball or a Trick. Either way, Heavy Slam will KO the Gengar, because the Gengar is obviously really light being a ghost. Uh, definitely really light, so Heavy Slam should be at its maximum power. We Terra Normal. They Shadow Ball. 
This is a good example of why Terra is so good. Look at this. Clean KO on the Gengar. Absolutely phenomenal work from Metagross this game. They could still pull this back though. They do have the Scrafty in there, which could easily go for a close combat slash whatever. They do bring in the Scrafty. It can't intimidate us. It's nice and shiny though. Can't intimidate us. Look at that pose. It's got a new pose. That's cool. I didn't know that. So, if we know this Scrafty can't, is going to hurt us really badly, we should switch out. I'm leaning towards the Mandibles and then the U-turn. They could Dragon Nance. They really could Dragon Nance, which would be bad for us. But I'm going to go into Mandibles anyway. I think Mandibles is the way to go. I had a bit of a pause there, but it was a thinking pause, so I'm not going to cut it out. Pebbles is going to come in. Like so. They go for a Dragon Dance. So I figured they go... I said they go for a Dragon Dance, right? So it's not too bad, because we have the Unaware on the Skeledurge. And we have a bulky Pokemon that can take... Guaranteed take a hit from this thing. So let's go for a U-turn first. They go for a second Dragon Dance. The thing is, they're probably Shed Skin as well, so I can't really Willow Wisp them. But are they more likely to be Shed Skin or Moxie? I think they're more likely to be Moxie, to be fair. I know Knock Off will definitely hurt my Skeledurge. I'm going to go for it anyway. We're unaware, so we're not bothered about the Dragon Dancers, but Knock Off will still hurt a lot. Definitely hurt a lot. And they are leftovers. They're not Lumberry, which is good to know. So if we can burn this thing, we're in a very good position. So let's go for the Willow. I'm confident. I'm confident we can take a knockoff from a Scrafty. Scrafty ain't that powerful. You know? It ain't that powerful. So they go for a knockoff. Stings quite a bit, but it's fine. They knock off our boots. We go for a Will-O-Wisp. We hit the Will-O-Wisp. Thank you. I was really worried about it missing. This is where we find out if they're shed skin or not, because they probably no my look, they probably shed skin straight away. The leftovers. Are we going to see a shed skin? Are we going to see a shed skin? Not yet. It, it's only a 50 50 chance that they could like shed. So, for now, let's go for a slack off because we know their knockoff's going to do diddly squat to us now. We may as well get our HP back. I think they go into Empoleon here, to be honest with you. They go for another knockoff. Will it KO? No, it will not. So, we go for a slack off, which is fantastic. Now, are they shed skin, though? I'm wondering if they're shed skin. Shedskin would really... Yeah, they are Shedskin. Wow, okay. Okay, so Shedskin and Scrafty is really cool to see. Really cool to see. Because I usually see Moxie on Dragon Dance sets, but I was really like, hmm. Let's go for a Torch Song. I just want to weaken this Scrafty because it's fast right now. That knockoff did way too much damage. We go for a Torch Song. No damage. Scrafty's quite bulky. It's naturally bulky. Um, but unfortunately... We're going to get KO'd by a knockoff this next turn. I don't think we need Skeledurge for anything else, so I'm happy to go and die. So they go for another knockoff. That's going to take out Dinosuchus. And down goes the Skeledurge. So there we go. Um, What do we do against this Crafty again? What do we do? I can't remember what we do here. Because there is nothing I have that can hurt this Crafty. I mean, someone's probably out there link thinking, like, you know, you just go into Hydrapple or something. Look at how much damage the Torch Song did. Do you really think we're going to KO? Unless we get a good Fickle Beam, we ain't KOing that thing. I'm leaning towards the knockoff. I think Fickle Beam is the way to go. I think we need to put it in range for the Metagross to KO with Bullet Punch. So I'm going to have to hope and pray we get a good Fickle Beam. Hope and pray we get a good Fickle Beam. So they Terrastalize. What are they going to Terrastalize into? Fairy? If they go Fairy, we're screwed by the Scrafty. Poison. What are they expecting? Why Terra Poison? Are they Terra Blast? They could be Terra Blast. Poison Jab. That's going to take me out. That is going to take my Hydrapple out, right? <gasps> we lived on 12 HP! Fickle Beam! Oh, it's only a baby one. It's only a baby one. No! That is not good. So Poison Jab, Knock Off, probably Drain Punch. Fickle Beam again. See what happens. They go for a Drain Punch to get some health back. Makes a lot of sense. What do we do here? I have no idea what to do against this thing. So Hydrapple goes down. If we go into Mandibuzz, they're just going to Drain Punch us. But we can knock off and get some neutral damage now and get rid of those leftovers, which would be nice. I would say, yeah, I'd say Mandibuzz is the way to go. So let's go Mandibuzz real quick. We're going to get wrecked by a Scrafty right now. That'd be hilarious if we did. Um, I'm going to knock off. 
I am going to knock off. I know we can take one Drain Punch because we are Fizz Death. So we can definitely take a Drain Punch from a Scrafty at plus two. I'm so glad they're not Moxie, otherwise we would be really screwed. No, we wouldn't, because if they were Moxie, they'd be burned. <laughs> Talking crap. <laughs> Talking smack. <laughs> so they withdraw Scrafty. That's great news. Why have they withdrawn the Scrafty? Probably expecting something from this Mandibuzz that's not coming. But we knock off their leftovers on the Empoleon, which is great. And now all we have to do is go for a switch. I am going to go Quackable. I am going to go Quackable. I'm going to go Quackable, yeah. Quackable's the way to go because they're probably going to either surf us or Ice Beam us. Ice Beam would be probably the most ideal situation. So there we go. We're drawing our Mandibuzz. Don't want to get hit by an Ice Beam. This is the only thing that's stopping that Scrafty from causing trouble. And we're going to go into Quackable. So I'm glad Panic Averted with a Scrafty. Definitely grab Panic Averted with a Scrafty. But um, we are poisoned, unfortunately. As they go for a Stealth Frox. Ooh. That's a good play. Stealth Frox is going to hurt my team a little bit from the switching and stuff. But we're not in the worst position in the world. We're not in the best position in the world. We're not in the worst position in the world. So what we can do is we can go for a close combat. And the Latios is going to appreciate it. The Scrafty ain't going to appreciate it. Nothing's going to appreciate this. So I'm going to go for a close combat. I think that's the way to go. I really think that's the way to go. So they withdraw the Empoleon. Are they going to go Latti or are they going to go Scrafty? Latios. So Latios comes in. That's fine. Uh, Latios can take a close combat for sure. But it's going to take a little bit of chip damage, which is nice. And a clean 45%. That's great. Great damage. Great damage right there from the Quackable. Now, do we have a switch into the Latios? That's the real question. I'm thinking we don't. But I could be wrong. I could be really wrong. No, we don't. <laughs> I was like, do we? Don't we? Do we? Don't we? Do we? Don't we? No. We go for an Aqua Step, though, because if we can get an Aqua Step off here, which I don't think we will, because they're going to go for either a Flip Turn or a Luster Purge. If they go for a Flip Turn, that's ideal. If you go for a Flip Turn, that's ideal. But they don't. They drop a Draco, which is understandable. Taking out my Quackleville. So that is unfortunate. But it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world because we still have Metagross in the back. We can heavy slam everything on their team right now. We can definitely do some serious damage to their team. I think their entire team goes down. But we don't want to do that just yet. So here's the thing. We go into Espeon. They definitely go into the Empoleon. I say we go Espeon and bait in the Empoleon or the Scrafty, one of the two. We get poisoned, absolutely fine. They're going to expect a Dazzling Gleam and they know Latios dropping a Draco is going to be really useful later on. So we make a double here into our Mandib, no, into our Metagross. That's what I'm going to do. They withdraw the Latios as expected. Are we going to make the right play here? Scrafty or Empoleon? There we go. Empoleon comes in. That's great. Empoleon coming in is fantastic. So we withdraw. And we go into Metagross. Good old bot. Now the real question is, what do we do here? Do we go for an EQ or do we predict the Latio switch and go for a Heavy Slam? They just saw us make a double. So they're probably going to expect us to make that predict. So I think if we go basic and go Earthquake, then that is the way to go. That is the way. That is the way. They're going to expect a Heavy Slam on the Latios. They are going to expect a Heavy Slam on the Latios. If we lose Metagross, we lose the game now. It's a risky play. This is I'm gambling right now. I've got my dice here. We're gambling. Yes, they did stay in. We made the right play. The Empoleon goes down. We are in a good position right now. We're in a very good position right now. Which is fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Metagross is the MVP of this game. I don't care what anyone says. Metagross is the MVP. It took out all three of the Pokemon we've taken out. It took them out. It took them all out. So now, the real question is this. What do we do against this Mamoswine? Do we bullet punch it? Or do we explode? Hmm. They definitely just go straight for an EQ or an Icicle Spear with a load of dice. I think we go for a bullet punch. Just get some damage off. See what they're going to do. This should actually 2 it KO. Yeah, it does 2 it KO. It's 50%. Um, Ice Cool Spear comes through. They are loaded dice, no doubt. Um, as that's going to take us out cleanly if they get all... Actually, if they only get four hits, we might be all right. <gasps> yeah. Oh, wait, poisoned. Never mind. We're poisoned. <laughs> I was just like, wait, we're poisoned. Never mind. Never mind. But the Mammoth Swine is weakened, which is great. 
We now outspeed them. We now outspeed them. So what do we go into? We go into uh, we go into Espeon, right? I think Espeon's a sound play. We go into Espeon. And I think they let Mama Swine go down so they can bring the Latios in. I think that's what they do. Let's go for a Psychic. I think Psychic's the way to go here. Because we're going to bait in the Latios. And then it drops a Draco. And then we get a free switch into Mandibuzz. Ice Shard. That's going to do a bit of chip. Not going to lie. Psychic comes through. How can we win this? How do we win this here? That's the real question. I suppose Shadow Ball would have been neutral to all. But it wouldn't have KO'd the Mamoswine, I don't think. And it won't KO the Latios from there. I don't know. It's, it's a weird one. So Latios comes in. They're talking about breaking this. Um... Right. So now what do we do? Do we go Mandibuzz Defog? I think we go Mandibuzz. I think we definitely go Mandibuzz. We Mandibuzz, we have to defog those Stealth Rocks away for Espeon. That's for sure. So we'll go into Pebbles. Luster Purge. Even better. Even better. So now, we defog. Right? We defog. Because we need that Espeon to come in. They, they do switch out. They do switch out. I should have gone for a U-turn there. They go into Scrafty, which is pet Poison type. Let's see how this plays out. We go for a Defog. Get rid of those Stealth Rocks for Espeon so we can actually switch in. So I think we did need to go for a Defog there. We did need to go for a Defog. And then they go ahead and pop their leftovers. So what do we do against this Scrafty? Mandibuzz can handle this, right? How many Dragon Dancers will they try and get up? I want to say we go for a U-turn, but they definitely Dragon Dance here. So I'm going to knock off. Yeah, they Dragon Dance. So they have to Dragon Dance there. Which is really unfortunate. It's down to Mandibus to take the Scrafty out. It's down to Mandibus to take the Scrafty out. We go for a knockoff. Not too bad damage. We knock off the leftovers as well. We go for another knockoff. They're going to see we're physically defensive when they Drain Punch us like now. Yep, no damage. Which is great. We can continue to Roost now. Um, so we have to go for a knockoff here. There we go. Knockoff comes through. Not enough damage. Not enough damage. We may lose this game. I could sit here and roost. But I don't want to be that guy. So I'm going to go for a knockoff. I'm going to let them win with this crafty. <laughs> That's really annoying. Because we don't have enough time left. We don't have enough time left to sit there and roost. We've got two minutes left. I would sit there and roost if I could. But we can't. If we get a crit knockoff, that'd be great. But we don't get a crit knockoff. Poison jab. They're giving us one more chance here. Because dark resists poison. Never mind. I don't think it does. Oh, it's ghost that resists poison. Ghost that resists poison. I've got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Right. Espeon, come on in. Can Espeon outspeed a plus one speed Scrafty? Because Scrafty's not that fast. I don't know. Let's try it. We do outspeed a plus one speed Scrafty. I should have U turned. I should have U turned. I did not think Espeon would outspeed a plus one speed Scrafty. I should have U turned with the Mandibles. Uh, gone last, gone into Espeon, outsped Psychic, and then go back into Mandibuzz against the uh, Draco Meteor on the Latios, then go back into Espeon and go for a Dazzling Gleam. That's what I should have done. That's what I should have done. And I know someone in the comment section is screaming at me right now. Let's try a Psychic, see if we win the Speed Tie. We don't win the Speed Tie anyway, so Luster Purge goes down. There we go. So that was a really close game. I definitely know what I could have done there. Like I said, I should have U-turned with the Mandibuzz into the Espeon, but I didn't think Espeon would outspeed a Scrafty at plus one speed. I really didn't. I thought I'd thrown the game there, but I ha- uh, Wow. GG, though. GG, that was a fun one. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to. Use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.